Welcome back for another episode of Porn Brain Rewired the Podcast with me, Dr. Trish Lee. I'm really excited to have you back here for an important episode on porn addiction resources. So this episode is born out of a discussion with someone saying, I just wish I kind of knew all the resources that were out there for me um, so that I knew I could make the decision on which one is the best. So I, of course, have a way of talking about this. Um, I call it the pyramid of possibilities. And I'm going to explain to you in this podcast episode, the pyramid of possibilities, which means all the different resources you can access and the investment of time, money, and energy that's necessary for each one of them. That's what the pyramid is. So definitely get your journal out. Definitely get a pen. And if you're driving like so many people are, remember later to write down a couple nuggets on this pyramid of possibilities when you get home. So we're going to go through the pyramid. And as we go through the pyramid, I'm going to detail for you all the different resources and basically the price points, the time points and the energy points that you will need to put in. And we're going to start at the top of the pyramid. Then, of course, at the end of this episode, there's going to be your brain hack strategy for the day. Honestly, the entire episode is a brain hack strategy, but I'm going to give you a way to decide where you're at in terms of the pyramid so you can dip a toe in or jump right into the deep end so you can get ready. Okay, get ready to help yourself in terms of recovery from consuming pornography. Okay, so let's envision. And if you are watching this video on YouTube, there will be an image of the pyramid of possibilities. If not, draw it in your journal or envision it here with me. So draw a pyramid. Uh, First, draw a triangle, draw a triangle, and then put two lines through the middle of it so that you have three separate sections that are about the same width apart. So Now we have a pyramid of three different sections. And basically those sections are going to be at the very bottom, the widest section of the pyramid are going to be our free and very low investment resources. So that's gonna be the section of the pyramid that has the most availability of resources for you without paying and it's going to have a low financial investment. So we're gonna put $1 sign by this bottom section, but it might have more of a time and an energy investment component. So you know how this goes. If you get something for free, you usually have to work a little harder to get it. And sometimes you have to put more energy in. So that's our bottom section of the pyramid of possibilities. I'm gonna give you some uh, resources there in just a few minutes. In the middle section of the pyramid, that's where we're going to have our lower investment possibilities and our lower investment resources that we can access. And then within that middle section, we're going to go up in terms of financial investment. So in that middle section, we're going to go with $2 signs to $3 signs. In the top of that section, $3 signs. At the bottom of that section, $2 signs. So you're going to have to invest a little bit more in these resources and you might have to put less time and energy into recovery as a whole because you will be figuring out what to do from people who know how to move you through this journey much more quickly. So although it might be a little bit bigger of a financial investment, usually the return on investment is bigger. So we're going to keep that in mind. And I'm going to keep coming back to that a little bit. And no, not all of these resources have to do with me. So this isn't a sales pitch um, uh, podcast. This is really what's out there for you. Of course, I'm going to talk about what I offer because it's important to me to offer services in every single section of this pyramid. And I'm going to show you how I do it. So let's move up to the top section, the apex, the pinnacle, the peak of the pyramid of possibilities. It's a much smaller section than the base of the pyramid. The base is thick and wide and goes far across. The peak or the apex is tiny and it has a much smaller section in it. Now this section at the peak, in terms of everything in the world, basically, 
it costs more. This is going to be your four and your five dollar sign investment in resources. It's also going to shave off the time and energy. It's going to be less time and energy than if you use the resources in the lower sections. This is basically how everything in the world works. And before I dive into porn addiction resources, I'm going to tell you one analogy from my precious daughter, Sersha, who rides horses. And she had a horse show um, on this past Saturday, so I have to make sure I put um, a quick little picture or vid of her riding her horse, Simba, because he's not hers. He's a schoolie horse, which I will. Um, she thinks he's he's hers. She, she identifies with him as her horse, which is perfect because she keeps bothering me to buy a horse. But trust me, this is going to come into this discussion of how many dollar signs you put into the investment. But I'll put the picture there of Sersh riding Simba, quote unquote, her horse. Okay, so let's think about horseback riding lessons. I was thinking this t this morning, actually, because she has lessons later on. And um, I, yeah, I am carpooling. I know what you're thinking. If you know me, you know that I've been parenting for almost 21 years and I do not carpool. I would rather drive three times further, four times more than carpool. But there is a set of parents, if you happen to be listening, that I think is really cool. We hang out at the horse shows. They're very nice people. I am carpooling tonight. And the dad of that couple made the group chat of our text. He called it horse parents, which I thought was really cool. So this morning, I actually was thinking to myself, that's pretty neat. I'm a horse parent. And no, we don't have our own horse yet. And they, in fact, just bought a horse. But, you know, it's cool because, you know, I, I did not grow up around horses. I did not grow up with parents who were willing to financially invest in horseback riding lessons. Um, you know, I was lucky to have a bike. Sorry, mom and dad, I love you, but you were not taking me to horseback riding lessons, nor were you ever buying me a horse. So, you know, it's a difference in lifestyle. And I do want to come back to that because it's important for another discussion that I've had, but let's stick with the horseback riding lessons for now. So Search loved horses ever since she was a baby. So actually, I took her to start horseback riding lessons when she was four. Yeah, they were glorified pony rides. But if you have a kiddo who loves horses, if you're going to develop that passion and that purpose, what do you have to do? You have to be around horses. And it's hard to be around horses unless you're at a horse barn. So I have a thing with all of my children that I will invest my time, energy, and money to help them develop their passions. And it's very important to me that I do that. That's part of at the end of the line when I'm laying on my deathbed and I'm evaluating my life. Did I show up for it? That's going to be one of those things that I showed up every single minute for those kids. But I will also deny them hardcore. Uh, Declan has been bugging me for a pressure washer to wash the cars. Now, he's a car kid. We just got him a new car. Very cool car. I will also put a picture of on Instagram. But... It's a $300 pressure washer. I'm like, show me the color of your wallet, kid. I'm like, I'm not buying you a pressure washer. You want that? You buy it. But I would rather see you out there hand washing the car. So it's not that I buy them everything every single time, but I do want to make sure that they have the opportunity to experience the thing that they care about. And Declan really wants a nice car that he could do work on and make it better. We got the most awesome car. He worked hard to find a good deal and a value Amazing. So let's go back to Sersha and her horses first. So I started taking Sersha for horseback riding lessons when she was four and they weren't that much. We were, at a, we were at a barn that, you know, it offered Groupons and things like that. So it was the just right start. It was a very low investment. I took her one time a week. Then we ended up switching barns when she got better and it's farther away. I have to drive more, which is why I just got a Tesla also not long ago because now I don't have to pay for gas. But I have to drive further. She goes two to three times a week, which is why I'm now carpooling. Uh, but she is becoming really, really good. She's in hunter jumper. So she now knows how to jump cross rails and fences. It's pretty amazing watching her passion develop because I'm willing to invest my time, energy and money into it. But she is still in the school lessons. So that's the lowest type of lessons in the barn. She's on what they call schoolie horses that can only do so much because they're not 
um, boarded horses and they're not her own horse. So she's only able to jump so high. She's in a group lesson for the school horses. All they offer is a group lesson. So her lesson's an hour long, but it's divided between usually five or six kids, which means, you know, she's only really getting 10 minutes of, of lesson, if that, out of her hour. You're with me on this, right? So this would be in the lowest level of the pyramid of possibilities. But it's really cool because they have her buy her own crop. She had to buy very expensive boots. We just had to get her an extra show helmet because she has long, gorgeous hair that had to be stuffed up in there. You know, so they get you to invest a little bit more. We just got her her own locker at the barn and they're going to put her name on it so she can keep all of the stuff she keeps having to buy to be part of the schooling lessons. But the next step is to either get her own horse, which I told her I will not do until she's 16 because this barn's far away. I'm not going there every day to take care of a horse or to lease a horse. You can, you can quarter lease, you can half lease, you can lease a horse there. Very expensive, a much bigger investment. But when you lease the horse, now you can take private lessons with the private trainer and coach who is actually the coach for the university that is affiliated with this barn. So it's like you're jumping way up in the lessons that you're able to get because now you're on a leased or a purchased horse. That is moving into, you know, leasing the horses, moving into the second section of the pyramid of possibilities. You also, in the second section, Sersha gets to be in new shows. She's not just in two shows a, a year at the barn. Now she's able to compete in what's called the Interscholastic Equestrian Association, IEA. So she gets to be able to be in better shows and to travel for some shows now. Bigger investment of our time, money, and energy because they all have entrance fees and things like that. Now I'm talking to my horse parent dad, carpool friend. They just bought a horse. His name's Vivaldi. How cool is that? And actually his daughter won a bunch of her um, sections this weekend, meaning that they're a really good pair, horse and rider. And, you know, I was joking with him about his investment being a good one because she's already winning, which is amazing. But he was telling me that they they went to some shows where they're far away and they had to go for three days straight. And basically there's an entrance fee every day. You have to pay to board the horse there at this show. You have to pay, you know, he said it just cost him a ton of money for this three day show. I'm not there yet. You know, she's a, she's an only child. Sersh is the fifth of my precious, uh, teenagers and young adults. So I'm like, Sersh, I cannot do that right now. I, you have to wait until your siblings are a little older and then we can maybe embark on that, which we probably will. But that's at the pinnacle, at the peak of possibility in becoming a better horse rider faster. So Sersh's friend is in a higher level than her, even though they're the same age, because she bought her own horse and now she's doing these shows. She's invested a lot more time, money, and energy. So likely she's going to pull ahead here for a while in terms of what she's able to do in the horse riding community. All right, so we're going to put a bow on that. But I want you to understand this pyramid of possibility exists everywhere. So before we move into porn addiction resources, think of something else that you might be in the lowest, the middle, or the peak of possibilities. The peak costs more every time. Sometimes it's more time and energy. A lot of times it's less. So the idea with Sersha's friend, having that better coach, she's learning a lot more faster in those personalized lessons that cost double. That's what happens. So you can move ahead faster. Okay. So in terms of porn addiction resources, we're going to start up here at the peak and we're going to move our way down to free because you probably already know what some free ones are because you are hopefully capitalizing on this free podcast that's very important for me to put out as part of my mission. And on YouTube, I have over 800 videos, all which have a brain hack strategy. So for free, I've been trying to build a library of resources for people and I'm on a mission to do it. But up at the top, I also have a service, as do other people. I'm going to tell you two peak top pyramid of possibility services that are for people who are willing to invest a lot to be able to get ahead faster. So for me, I offer something that I call a 90-day intensive. 
So it's an intensive experience with me where basically you get one of everything of all the services that I offer, plus you get unlimited support from me. And so it's on a schedule of coaching sessions, but you also have text and phone call support. And I've done a whole bunch of these and they're really, really successful. So this is the way that it works. Usually it's for elite people who are used to investing um, their money so that they can work with a high level professional to reduce the time and energy suffering and struggling that is involved in recovery because I can meet you in every moment that is occurring for you and help you to move through it. It's real time responsive feedback from me in those moments that occur over the 90 days that you commit to recover. And so what it looks like is you sign up, I do your brain map. The brain map is the initial assessment. I see how your brain is operating. I know exactly what we need to do to heal your brain and to shift it into a new mode. Then we start with coaching sessions and you begin to engage in my 90 day digital program that we will talk about further when we get lower down the pyramid of possibilities. So then you start with those programs. You start with high level professional neurofeedback at home. That's guided by me. I can set in individual protocols. I can do more than one thing. I can program it to do exactly what it needs for your brain performance pattern and to push you exactly at the right push. At the same time, you have access to me by phone and by text. And for a lot of people, I'll talk to them almost every day. As things are developing, I can help them move through it. So this is really designed for people who are executives and they don't want to engage in um, anything for free that they might be involved with other people who would recognize them. This is for celebrities. Celebrities are involved in intensives. Um, I'm thinking Drake. Sorry, Drake. That might be a judgment based on your music, but I think Drake might at some time be a good candidate. Posty, most likely. Hopefully I'll get to meet you, even though you know I adore your music. New album is crushing it. So think celebrities who do not want to go to anything free, who have enough resources to be able to invest in themselves. Um, it, we might also have high level executives, like I've talked about, elite performers, people who have the resources, financial resources to invest so that I can move them through a process in 90 days. It works out amazing, honestly. We can get big work accomplished in a small amount of time because of the responsive support and the tools and techniques that you learn to use on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, there's other people who offer intensives also. So that's not just the me thing. I offer it because it is the highest level of support that I can offer people. It's important for me to do that. Typically, I only take one intensive every 90 days, which means I'm doing four intensives a year. And they're a lot of work for me. So sometimes I will only do three because I need some time to recover because they really are a lot of work for me and the person involved. We're, we're a team on this thing. There's other people who offer intensives and there's people who offer weekend intensives. So you go for a few days to get the ball rolling. Now there's merit in that, but I do know from being involved in this world of porn addiction for a long time now that Generally, recovery lasts longer than a weekend, but a weekend is a really good way to get things started. And I do offer three-day intensives in my office still. I've kind of converted it to the 90-day online and through phone and text, but I've offered three-day intensives in my office. People come in and I basically figure out everything that's going on with them within the three days. And then they go home and there's follow-up and maintenance for the 90 days or for the 87 days after that, basically. So that's also an option. And other people offer intensives like that, where if you've not addressed any of this, you can really get the ball rolling in three days. And another elite um, big investment service that can shave time and energy off of recovery is inpatient care. Now, we know from the science that when people go into inpatient, they can be highly successful because basically they're in a lockdown environment. A lot of inpatient recovery programs now include neurofeedback, which is the brain-based service that I offer. So that's really cool because they're working on regulating a dysfunctional brain also, which if you've heard me talk, that's a key component to success. 
But we also know from the science that not only in porn and sex addiction, but also in alcohol and drug rehabilitation, that when people go back into their environment, they have relapse and relapse is very high unless their home environment, physical and mental environment have been significantly addressed in inpatient care. And in the 90 day intensive that I offer, I'm working only not, not only on regulating your brain, but also on adjusting your physical and mental environment so that your home environment is very different when we, than when we get done with our 90 days together. So those are our high level, top of the peak, uh, pyramid of possibility choices. You can do an intensive experience with a high level professional that knows exactly what to do in the moments that might show up in your life. So the way that works is my intensive client will call me and tell me what's going on. I don't need to hang up and go see what I might be able to offer. I know what to offer in that moment. I've been, I've experienced just about everything under the sun that's out there. I can meet you in that right away. I can see it coming before you even know it's coming. I can help you ward it off. And so that's why it's so powerful. That's why it's such a powerful experience. So if you're in a position for a high level financial investment that moves the needle forward quickly and intensive might be right for you. And if you're interested in looking at mine, please go over to drtrishlee.com under the Porn Brain Rewire tab. There is an intensive with Dr. Trish Lee page. You can check it out there. Okay, now we're going to move down from that peak experience and we're going to go to the middle section of the pyramid of possibilities and we're going to start at the very top. Now for me, the very top service is professional level neurofeedback. That's the kind that you have unlimited neurofeedback sessions. After you have a brain map, you have access to a high level app at home and I set it to do exactly what your brain needs. I constantly monitor it. I change what I need to change in real time to keep moving your brain forward. The people who work with me in that program really garner a high level of success in a short amount of time. It tends to be a six month program where we work together for six months. We meet one time a month. So there's not unlimited access to me, but there's unlimited neurofeedback sessions. And what we're kind of counting on in this program is for the technology to regulate the dysfunctional pattern in your brain with my eyes constantly on it, making sure I'm moving you in the right direction. It's highly successful for the clients that I work with. It's a much lower investment than an intensive. It's in the middle range where most people could afford it if they wanted to. I work with people who are at all socioeconomic levels who decide that the value is there. So they're going to invest their value purchasers, just like me. And then I work hard to make sure that I can provide the value for them and people feel it. I think they feel it. But at the very top level of the middle section, you would also want to add my digital program and personal coaching. I meet with you one time a month. Zach Carter, who's the lead coach on my team, he meets with you the other three weeks of the month. So still for an affordable investment, we can save you a lot of time and energy because you're basically getting an accountability meeting a week and you have two people's mind on your case, mine and Zach's, in different ways. And we both can give you coaching strategies to move you forward. It's very, very powerful. So we have that combination for people who are serious about moving forward, but it's still accessible and affordable, which is important, very important for me because that's the best case scenario that hits the sweet spot of yes, it's an investment, but the return on investment is very high and it saves you the energy and the time, but you're going to get better faster. You're going to move through this recovery process because you have a lot of support and your brain is being regulated from within, which is very, very important because if you're going to porn, Unfortunately, you're regulating your brain externally through high levels of dopamine. So we, sh we switch that, we shift it so that you learn to regulate your brain from within. Plus we're using the tech to high level tech, 2023 tech to make sure that we're moving your brain in the right direction as quickly as possible. So that's going to be the top 
level service within the middle range. Now, going down one notch, and we're still in that, you know, three to four dollar sign, we're in the three, three dollar sign range here, is working with a professional coach or a professional counselor or therapist who is certified in sex addiction recovery or who knows a lot about porn addiction recovery. These therapists and coaches tend to cost more in terms of an investment because it's a very niche type of recovery program. If you go to a general counselor or therapist, and I'm not knocking them, I'm just knocking the knowledge base. Actually, I'm not knocking it. I'm highlighting the fact that the knowledge base might not be there because I work with so many people who are like, my counselor says, you know, porn every once in a while is okay for me. I'm like your counselor's wrong, my friend. Like obviously, right? Because if you have a compulsive pornography habit, it is at the root of your problem. Your counselor just doesn't know. That's why you need a niche counselor. And there's different certifications, but you need a niche coach, counselor, or therapist. And next I'm going to talk about my digital program or anybody else's digital program. But I want you to know if you're working with this high level coach, it tends to be around two to three hundred dollars an hour. Zach Carter, who offers that three sessions a month, his cost is four ninety nine, which ends up being one sixty seven a session. And that is lower than the average. I Try to keep it lower than the average so that it can be accessible to people. Yes, it's still an investment, but throughout the 90 days, if you get the digital program, Zach can walk you through the process and you'll have the tools and the support. So I just want you to know here that if you get a niche counselor, it's going to be somewhere between 167 if you work with a coach in my program, up to three to $400 a session, which takes us to the next level, which is a digital program. My digital program is $999. And some people will say that's too expensive, Dr. Trish. And I will say back, it's a huge program. It's over a hundred lessons that you walk through day by day by day with a hundred exercises, hundred plus. And I offer, and at this recording of this video, which does sometimes change, I'm offering monthly support groups where I show up each month and I support you. So you get access to this program for the rest of your life if you need it. And me and my team are going to show up and support you through it. It's a big program and all the people, most of the people in the program tell me it was worth every cent and it's helped them to understand their issue and to move through it. Success rate is high. So yes, it's $9.99, but going back to those niche counselors and therapists at $300 an hour, Basically, it's three sessions with a therapist versus lifetime access to the program with support. So it is a value purchase. I'm not taking away from the fact that it's an investment, but it's a value purchase investment. And it's going to cost you $2 signs, not three, but you're going to have to put more time and energy into figuring out the concepts yourself and applying them yourself. So that's why it's on the lower end of the middle section, but it's going to help you big time. So the digital program, when I do a consultation, most times I send people into the digital program as a recommendation because it's the biggest bang for your buck. But this is the question I ask people when they're interested in a digital program. It's self-paced and it's self-guided, which means you need to move yourself through it yourself. Because people say, what's the biggest issue with your program? The biggest issue with my digital program and any digital program is a person completing it. Because if you're in recovery, completing recovery is the challenge, which is why I'm now doing monthly meetings so that you show up and I say, get your booty back into the program and keep moving forward. Not completing a recovery program is the biggest issue if it's self-paced and self-guided but it's there for you for, for life. So if you kind of fall off the horse and then you get back on, it's still there for you. It's not like you've had five therapy sessions at $300 and then you need to start over two years later and those five therapy sessions haven't had a cumulative effect. A digital program can really have a cumulative effect over time 
And the way one of my clients talked about it, which I love because I've been a college professor for a really long time, is that program is comprehensive. It's kind of like the university course on porn addiction recovery. It walks you through the unwire stage, everything you need to do to block your ability to go into the screen, put fences up to not engage in sexual acting out behavior and kind of get over that hump from unwire into rewiring your brain back towards the optimal level. So in the rewire section, it's the biggest section, all the strategies to use your mind and your body and your brain itself to regulate your brain from within so you don't have to go to porn to regulate from without. And basically we're healing and rewiring that dysfunctional brain pattern in that rewire section. And in that section, I also teach you how to use the Muse brain training headband which I will talk about in a minute when we go down one more rung in the pyramid of possibilities. But in that digital program, then in the rewire section, you're also rewiring your lifestyle, your mental and physical space so that you can be successful in the long run. Unlike we were talking about with inpatient programs where, you know, you're really kind of doubling down on helping your your regulation from within, but then you go back into your environment and you're just triggered back into a relapse and kind of starting over from where you were. That doesn't happen in the digital program because if you follow all the steps, you're basically building a new foundation of a new lifestyle. You're also digging through the past and resolving trauma that might be shackling your brain into the mode that needs porn. And then in the end, you're hardwiring your brain and your life to sustain a lifestyle without porn. That is what is necessary. And I love when I talk to my clients, I was talking to someone the other day where he's like, I'm in the midst of setting up my life so that it's different so that I'll never go back. And I'm like, that's it, my man. That's exactly what you need to do. So a digital program hits that sweet spot of value purchase where you get everything you need and you can also get the support on top of that. Now, if we go down one more rung, in, I have to check my notes here real quick. If we go down, um, looking to see, I wrote something that I don't, oh, I know what I wrote. Okay. Is that, that's the 90 day program that I offer. So I told you that it's really important for me to offer services along the entire pyramid of possibilities. So that's why I offer an intensive, because if you have the dinero, I can help you still if you don't want to be in a digital program with a lot of other people. If you want me to tell you exactly what to do, I offer that. But if $9.99 is too much for a digital program, I also offer my introductory program, Quit Porn for Good, which is $79. So if you want the abbreviated uh, university course, the short, quick one, that's available for you as a starting point. So this way you can get into the program, you can start to train your brain, you can start to rewire your brain, and you can decide if you want to get into the bigger program. And there, there are a lot of people who that program has helped. So that's thousands of people have taken that program, which is amazing. And I get emails from those people. I don't get to meet them. There's no meeting for the $79 program, but they send me emails saying, thank you so much. You've helped me so much. So there's a smaller digital program there. Now we go down one more rung, we're still in the middle. Here, I'm gonna put the Muse headband kind of on the cusp of moving from that middle investment to the lowest investment. The Muse headband, if you use my link, which of the recording of today, because I'm one of the top ambassadors in the world for the Muse company that sells this headband, I am able to offer Anybody who uses my link, and they're giving me a coupon code, so hopefully a coupon code will be below this video soon. You are able to get the headband and the subscription. There's a subscription at 20% off. Now, I brought my headbands up so I can talk about them for a minute, and I know we're probably going to get long, but if you're interested in the headband, let me show you, is that on YouTube, you can see the video. There's a headband with a rigid, um, it has five sensors in the front. It has a rigid band. And there's also two sensors in the temporal lobes. That is called the Muse 2. It runs around $249 without the subscription. It's a great investment. I love it. I've been using that. That headband's 10 years old. So, but I also have the Muse S. It has a stretchy headband and 
It has sensors. You can see the sensors kind of cracked or they still work. They work fine, but this, they have sensors in the front. Stretchy headband, these are the sensors that go over the, the ears, still have five sensors. What this headband does is you put it on and you do a brain training session using the mind meditation in the Muse app. So basically it's like the lowest level of neurofeedback because Muse has taken their mind meditation. They have put the one most universal protocol into the headband and you can access it at home for $249. The Muse S with the stretchy headband is a little bit more expensive, but if you use my 20% coupon or my 20% link, the $249 ends up being $200. Amazing return on investment ROI for that investment of $200. Literally amazing. I want everyone in the entire world to have a headband because it will help you. What it does is it sends your brain feedback of how your brain is performing using audio feedback. So if you use the app, it gives you a soundscape. And so you'll be listening to ocean sounds. And when your brain is optimized and it's functioning in the most functional optimal mode, you hear lovely beach waves and birds will perch on your shoulders and you hear birds in both of your ears. That's the reward for regulating your brain from inside, from within. And basically what you're doing is you're exercising the muscle of your brain to get your brain into a calm focus mode. And somebody, people always ask me, I have no idea what you mean by that. What I mean by that is let's pretend this headband is like a 20 pound weight for your brain. If you were trying to get a bigger bicep and you put that 20 pound weight in your hand and you did a curl, you don't have to think about what those muscles are doing. Those muscles are responding to the resistance of the weight and they are getting stronger. That is what happens in your brain. The headband doesn't put anything in. It just challenges your brain through positive feedback, a reward to move into the healthier mode. If your brain goes out of that mode, what happens is the beach sound starts to be stormy and the birds go away. You're getting negative feedback because your brain is more dysregulated. And at the end of the session, the Muse app provides a screenshot of the percentage of calm that your brain has achieved. And basically what happens is you want to see a downward trend in that line. And if you have a downward trend in the line and a higher percentage of calm, what it means is you're regulating your brain within every single session. And you can, you can use the headband for five minutes. You can use it for 20 minutes. If you want to get longer sessions, you want to get the subscription so that you can layer that feedback on top of your own audio. So you can listen to Spotify podcasts. You can listen to me. You can also listen to YouTube and you'll still get the audio feedback. So it's an amazing way to get longer sessions. Now it is not the professional app that I use higher up in this section because that professional app uses a different app that I'm able to change all the parameters to exactly what you need. I'm not able to change anything in the Muse Although if we work together personally, I do have a provider portal where I can see exactly what your brain is doing and I'm able to give you feedback based on your Muse sessions also. But as of this recording, Muse only has one protocol and that's the benefit of the higher level neural feedback. Okay, now let's go down, we're at Muse, let's uh, transition. Oh, actually, let me talk about one more thing at the bottom of this section is that here we're talking $2 signs. You also might be able to go to paid groups, going back to Search's horseback riding lesson, a paid group that's led by a professional who offers groups. So the benefit is now maybe you pay 50 or $60 for the group, but you're there with other people. And that is something that when it comes to sex addiction and porn addiction, a lot of people are not a huge fan of having to go to a group and sit there um, in a group with other people and talk about their sexual behaviors. So those are there and they're led by a professional. 
which is an important distinction. And I think groups are awesome. So I am not knocking groups. So don't hear that. I know it's very difficult to go to a group first. That's what I know. But I also know that groups are really important for overall recovery. I'm going to talk about that in a second. So let's transition down into the free or very low investment, the biggest section where you probably find the most accessible resources. That's why it's big and fat. And you can find things for free or you can find things for low investment. So let's hit the low investment things first. You might be able to find professionals who offer groups for even lower investment, or you might find people who have moved through their own recovery journey who offer low investment groups or free groups. You also might be able to access SA, which is Sexaholics Anonymous, or SAA, which is Sex Addicts Anonymous. There's also Porn Addict Recovery Groups. Now, the danger down in the free category is that it tends to be led by people who've moved through their own recovery journey and they might still be in their recovery journey. So you don't have that professional who also knows exactly how to move you through your process, which might be different from their process. So it's great to have a mentor or a sponsor or someone leading that group, but it also could be lacking if your experience is different or if you need more support from a professional. So again, it's going to be a lower dollar amount, but it might take you more time and energy to course correct along the way because you don't have that high level elite professional leading you in this in this journey. But it's great for the camaraderie and for the fellowship and for the I'm not in this thing alone that there's a lot of other people struggling with this and to be able to externalize your internal experience. You get to go to these groups and talk about what's happening to you. I've gone to many of the 12 step groups in my own life journey so that I could talk about the crap that nobody in my world can handle listening to. I have a plethora of different professional coaches because I don't wanna be blind and alone on this journey. I learned so much from my coaches and some of my coaches are pretty expensive too. But what they do is they enable me to show up in the moments of in my life in just the way that I want to. So everything that I offer here, I've taken advantage of myself. I forced myself to purchase those things back when I didn't think I had the money to do it so I could move forward faster. And I accidentally showed up here to be able to do it for you because I was training myself the whole time too, not knowing. I was just trying to help my own situation. So going back to the free groups, I've shown up there. I've been that girl who sits there terrified. I've been that girl who's had to walk into the room and sit there filled with shame and filled with uncertainty and feeling like I'm not like all of you until I'm like, I'm exactly like all of you, except for I'm a pragmatic optimist. Yes, any people who are ever in any of those groups with me where you're like, oh yeah, now I get why you are always saying there's gotta be a way out of this because there is a way out of this. You just have to have pragmatic hope. You're hopeful and you keep doing the right stuff. So those groups can be a little nerve wracking, but man, are they good for the soul if you keep showing up. And I earned a chip at um, ACA and I still carry that chip around in my pocket on rough days to remind myself that I can do the difficult things that I need to do to keep moving forward in my life. That chip was amazing and uh, it still gives me the fortitude. Okay, so the free groups, you know, that's the aspect of it. Something I don't love about free groups is that when you go, you do have to say, you know, part of the process in 12-step groups is pronouncing that you are an addict and that's supposed to keep you humble. I believe in a recovery journey, that it's a personal transformation journey. And if you can make it all the way through, you don't have to keep proclaiming you're an addict. Because if you shift and you unwire, rewire, and hardwire your brain, you've actually become a different person, one who no longer is quote unquote an addict, a person who has recovered from those addictive behaviors and has triumphed over them. And I think of porn addiction as kind of like an eating disorder. You have an unhealthy relationship with food and eating. That relationship has to be changed and your brain has to be healed so that that relationship can change. But in the end, you don't have to keep proclaiming you have an eating disorder. You're someone who has recovered from an eating disorder 
and you are establishing healthy eating. That's how I think about recovery. And that's why I don't want people proclaiming it for the rest of their life. Okay. Down in the free is free podcasts and videos. Um, also you can purchase books. So thankfully I have a literary agent who's out there working hard, trying to get my book into the hands of the right publisher. It's a step-by-step guide for people who want to recover from porn addiction, and it'll be a very low investment. So that's down there. Um, Of course, there's lots of other books out there that you can get that move you through the process and you learn from people's experience. If it's a professional who wrote it, you learn from the professional aspects, low investment, and then you're here. Porn Brain Rewire, my podcast that I'm showing up to keep giving you the strategy so that you can keep moving forward and it's free. It's really important for me to keep showing up for free because I know that that's a starting point for a lot of people. But what I also want you to know is if you're struggling A lot of times in porn recovery and sexual acting out recovery, free doesn't cut it because this is the library. This isn't the university course. So I keep putting things into the library to help you. That's why we have the brain hack strategies, but you need a process that's beginning, middle and end to be able to move you through and have accountability and support to do it. That's not just my idea. Science supports that science shows if you have the tools, the techniques, the strategies, and the support, you will be successful. So if you're here trying to do it for free, you're lacking one of those and you're missing a piece of the puzzle. The digital program that I offer, I think of it as a puzzle. And so like each person actually has different puzzle pieces specifically, but there is a formula to it. So if you know what all the pieces of the puzzle are in the digital program, you figure out which puzzle pieces are important for you You figure out which ones are easy for you to fit in and you figure out those ones that are a little bit more difficult for you to find how to put it into place. But once you snap all those puzzle pieces into place, as long as you keep that puzzle shellacked with that spray, you're going to be fine is that you figured out all of those puzzle pieces and now you sprayed that puzzle. That's the foundation for the lifestyle moving forward. That's how you succeed. So if you're trying to do this thing alone, using free content, you'll get some, you'll get support. You'll be able to move forward a little bit, but if you can't do it all by yourself, you need a program. And my 90 day digital program is a great starting place for you. If my program doesn't resonate with you, find a digital program. They tend to be the biggest bang for your buck. You're talking to the girl who's had paid for lots and lots of digital programs. And I basically have never regretted any one of them. Digital programs are so awesome. That's why I feel like uh, as a university professor, what happened was I was teaching at the university and the dean came to me, probably because I'm spunky. I was spunky back then too. And he's like, we want you to learn how to teach online classes. This is before they existed. There were no online classes. And I'm like, I don't know that I want to, you know, I had five babies. I'm like, I don't know if I should be doing this extra training to learn how to do online classes. And the dean Dean Smith, he said to me, trust me, you'll never regret doing this training. And I'm like, all right, I'm up for it. And here I am, you know, 20 years later, offering digital programs and being able to do it in a really high level way because I took the opportunity to do that training. You met me, right? Not only did I do that training, I got a master's in educational leadership from an online program that taught me how to make online programs, taking that thing to the to the nth level. So so. The digital programs that I offer, they're put together really well and they're based on science. But, you know, if you're not vibing with me, find somebody and you get a big return on investment in a digital program. Okay, now let's wrap this baby up with your brain hack is that we're talking about the pyramid of possibilities. There are a wealth of possibilities on how you can move through porn addiction recovery. I want you to know that. So I also want you to know if you're working on this thing for free, There's more possibilities. That is the lowest level of possibility. And it might be where you're at right now, and that's okay. But if you're not succeeding, recognize you're down in that big bandwidth in the lowest level of the pyramid. There's two more rungs. And the top rung, the peak, it's usually reserved for people who have a lot of accessible income who can put that income towards a high level experience. And that might not be most people. I get that because... That's those are those purchases are hard for me as a value purchaser. 
Those are some difficult purchases. I had to do that in my mold poisoning recovery. I had to put so much money at that because if not, I'd probably be dead right now, honestly. So I did not want to do that, but I committed to it so that I could back myself out of that as fast as possible because I was a sinking ship. I literally probably would have died if I didn't invest in that high level service. So necessity is the mother of invention. If you're there, the investment will be worth it. If you have legal issues, if you have health issues, if you have significant erectile dysfunction, if your relationship's about to break because of your sexual behaviors, that high level intensive is likely worth it if you have the ability to commit. I didn't even have the dough to put into it. I just committed to pay for that experience over time, trying to make the money as I was paying for it because I needed it. It was a no, I didn't have another option. I needed that or I I had to figure out all the pieces for mold poisoning before it took me out. So you might be there that you can pay for that as you go, but know that that's an option. But let's talk about in that middle option, if you're down here for free, I want you to know there's other levels. Now working with me, get the Muse headband. It'll cost you $200, $250. Start training your brain right away. That money goes to the Muse company. So that's not me trying to squeak $200 out of you. I'm an ambassador, so I get a little affiliate money, but that's not why I'm telling you to get it. I'm telling you to get it because it's the number one tool that a person can use to regulate their brain at the level of your brain, not needing to use your mind and body. But of course, you need to use your mind and body too to be able to get out of porn and sexual acting out. So get the muse. And the next step is to get into the digital program. It's well worth the investment. And this is what I want you to know. There's no horizontal spiral. So if you're watching porn, it will continue to get worse for you and for everybody involved in your life. Yes, I know some people say, Dr. Trish, isn't that hyperbole? It's not hyperbole. It's a negative feedback loop. And if you're in it, you feel it. This thing will take you down over time. And what I want for you is to create an upward spiral as quickly as possible. That's why I want you to know the pyramid's here for the taking. If you go up a rung or two, you can move through recovery so much faster. You can do it. It's pragmatic hope. You can be hopeful because now you have all the right steps that move you through. That's what I want for you. Okay. So here's the brain hack for the day. And then let's wrap it up at 52 minutes is think about where you are on this pyramid of possibilities and what would be a stretch for you. So stretch yourself a little bit into doing something new. If you don't want to pay for it, go to a group. Churches have groups, S-A, S-A-A, get in a group. Yeah, you're going to be terrified, but you're going to get that chip that you keep in your pocket someday. If you're willing to put some money into this thing, get the Muse headband. I'm going to make sure the link and hopefully the new coupon code is below. If you are ready for a digital program, get into my 90 day program. It's an amazing program that's going to move you through and I'm there to support you in it. If you're ready to work with me personally or with another professional personally, it's going to be a higher level dollar amount, but we're going to be able to move you through faster and easier. Time and energy go down. And if you're ready for an intensive, find out about it. There's an application on the intensive page. It's a beautiful thing. I can show up and help you move through in real time. But here's the point. In your brain hack for the day, figure out where you are. Figure out what a stretch behavior would be for you and do it. Because you have to move up to break the negative feedback loop and to create the upward spiral. You have to move up to create the upward spiral. There's no such thing as a horizontal spiral. You're in a downward spiral if you're not succeeding. So do something new. Take a step in the right direction to create the upward spiral. It will work. It'll pay off. And you don't have to go up 17 rungs in this pyramid. Go up one. Go up two. Start moving up. And then know you can always keep moving up. You know, that's what life is. All of life is recovery. But if you work with a person who knows how to do it, it's so much faster. All right. Until next time, control your brain or it'll control you. Go do it. Figure it out. Take a step up the ladder. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye.